Peace and blessings, everybody. I know the quality of this video may not be too clear. But nevertheless, um, the purpose of this video isn't for you to, isn't for anybody really to see me, but more so to pretty much hear the words that are coming forth. And, um, you know, I'm doing, I'm out here, you know, I was just taking a walk earlier and I'm meditating about how, how, as to what it really means to choose something. Like basically talking about, like the title says, choice. And... I'm realizing that on on the most basic level, right on the on the most basic level, because we are living life like in real time. We are going through things. We wake up every day. We have tasks that are given to us. We have things we got to do. Going about our time and throughout all of that, we have a choice. There's always gonna be a reason to be mad. There's always gonna be a reason to be upset. Just like there's always going to be a reason to be happy, always going to be a reason to, to see the good all the time. But nevertheless, it goes back down to choice. And I came to that conclusion because when I think of the Most High and His Son, when Jesus Christ did what He did, when Jesus Christ came down on earth and 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 lived as a man and experienced what man experiences, which is all, was all for a greater purpose, but it still boiled down to him making that choice. When he came down on earth, he could have easily said, you know what, I'm gonna do what I gotta do and I'm gonna just, you know, enjoy my time here. But he chose to stay on the, on the, uh, on the path that his father set before him. Because all through the Bible, he always said, I came not to do my own will, but him that sent me. I speak not my words, but him that sent me. All throughout the book, he's telling us he understood and he, he understood and he chose to stay within that purpose. Like even today, I made a video uh, not so long ago talking about identity. Even today, a, a lot of us know and understand that God is calling us towards something greater. I think a fair amount of people can understand that, but people still choose to go with their carnal desires. People still choose to want to be uh, famous and choose to want to, you know, quote unquote, make it in this life, be quote unquote successful. So they still make that choice. But again, I'm harping on this point because this is what it goes. This is what it all boils down to. So, yeah, whatever you're going through. Whatever it is that, you know, we may be struggling with, let's choose to do good. Let's choose to be happy. Let's choose love. Right? Because God is love. And if God is love, that means that love is the most powerful force in existence. Every day we go off and we go into sins, but God still chooses to love us. He still chooses to show us mercy. He still chooses to wake us up every day. Choice. So, it may sound very simple. You know, just like, oh, choose it. But again, all of the things that we see in the Bible that can be perceived as simple, like, for example, love thy neighbor as thyself. It seems so obvious and so like straightforward. But again, it is the most difficult thing to do. You know, it's, it's, it's very difficult to be able to to maintain a, a, a state of peace, of a state of peace when there's nothing but noise around you. When there's nothing but evil around you. You know what I'm saying? So, again, I just want everybody to start thinking about it. Like, when, and if, if someone was to do something wrong to you and you went off on them, guess what? You chose to do that. Same thing goes for me. If someone comes to me and they start talking crazy and, and I go off on them, that was my choice on the, on the most basic level. I chose to embrace that anger. Because that's what happens. That saying is going to send thoughts into your mind. That's why a lot of times you'll be you'll be doing something. Put this one up. That's why a lot of times we'll be going throughout that. We will be going throughout our day. And then some random thought will come to our mind. Where do you think that thought's coming from? You know, and when, and when that thought comes, when those evil thoughts come, you have the choice to embrace that and embody it and live that evil thought or live that, uh, you know, put water on that thought, put some sunlight on that thought to let it grow, or you can choose to reject it. You can choose to say, you know what? I'm not going to give these thoughts power over me. You know, so my point being, you know, again, choose love, choose to do good. 
choose to do the right thing. Choose to be righteous at all times to everybody. Despite what they do to you. And these things may sound so repetitive and redundant. But it's literally what's going to separate the righteous from the unrighteous. Remember that, that uh, scripture, I think it's in Matthew 25, where Christ talks about um, when we, he said something about, you know, I, I, was, I was sick and you visited me not, you know, I was hungry and you, and you fed me not, or I was in prison, you know, all that, all that stuff he was going into. And then when, and at the end of it, he's, uh, the, you know, the disciples asked, when have these things happened? Like when, when, when did the time come where we didn't do these things to you? And he said, the, the, uh, um, we did it to the least of his brethren. Like he was talking about the people around us. The way that we treat the people around us is a direct reflection of how we would treat the most high. Is is how we would treat Christ Himself if, if He was here on earth. So the, that that that's why I always tell people the most difficult thing in this life, honestly speaking, based on my seventeen years of experience being here on this earth, I can I can come I I, I can safely come to the conclusion that one of the most difficult things in this life is being good to everybody, no by, no matter what they do to you. Always doing good, learning how to respond the proper way in tough situations, learning how to have a good perspective uh, to, on everything to everybody in, a, in every situation, learning how to be understanding, learning how to be considerate. And I'm not saying these things because I haven't mastered. Oh, no, I'm far from that. I'm far from good. There's none good. No, not one. I, I'm not putting myself in that category, but I'm speaking the way I'm speaking because this is this. This is what I'm seeing in the book. This is what I'm seeing based off of. What is being shown to me through the spirit. And I think that it could definitely be something that could help others out as well. So I'm not going to go too long. It's just something that's been on me um, to discuss. I was meditating on it today. So hopefully um, somebody can, you know, take from it and, you know, be able to apply it to their lives and just, you know, continue to be a light. So that's pretty much it. So um, as always, peace and blessings. Everybody stay safe. My apologies for the camera quality. But, you know, um, some of the spirit want to speak. I'm going to let it speak. Despite the circumstances, so all right, everybody, just uh, always stay safe and um, peace, peace and blessings.